Welcome back to Two-Way Radio Center. This is a video about the programmable key functions of the ICOM ICF200. There is a side and a top button that are only for assigned functions. It is as simple as pressing the button and the programmed function will begin. First I will show you how to program them and then I will let you know of the options. To start, turn your radio off. Then hold the power button, the top button, and the key button at the same time to enter the key assignment mode. You will see KYST appear on the screen to let you know that you have entered the mode. Press the top or the side button to select which button you would like to program. Push the up or down arrows to select the desired key function. You will toggle through numbers that correlate to functions. The corresponding list is this. Once you have determined which selection you would like, push the power button to turn off the radio to exit the assignment mode. You will go through the same process to program the other button. Now let me walk you through a detailed explanation of the five options that you have to program. The first is a null function where nothing is assigned. Next is an emergency option. Hold down and it will enter the emergency mode. After the reminder timer period ends, an emergency call is transmitted once or repeatedly. Hold down for a period of time to exit the emergency mode. The third option is a high-low function. Push this to select the output power level. Next is a scan start-stop function. You push this to start or cancel the scan. When the scan starts with the scan function on, push to pause the scan. The pause scan restarts after a period of time based on an already entered auto reset timer. Hold down this key while the scan pauses by detecting a signal on a channel, and then the channel is removed from the scan group. The remove channel is automatically added to the scan group again after the scan is canceled. The last option is a surveillance function. When this function is turned on, the beep is not heard and the backlight does not light up, even when a signal is received or a key is pushed. And that wraps up today's video on the options you have with the ICOM IC F200 programmable keys. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions concerning the options or would like more information about the radios or to purchase, give us a 